Hi guys, this is Christy from Pro in the Home. Today I have another unboxing video to share with you. I have a thread up box that I purchased last week and it is a mixed clothing box. And if you know anything about these thread up clothing boxes, uh, you really never know what you're going to get. You don't know the condition of the items or uh, how valuable they may be, but that's kind of part of the fun of getting these mystery boxes. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I run ProInTheHome.com. It is a website that helps people start their own home-based business. I am a professional reseller, which means I buy things at yard sales, Goodwill, uh, other thrift stores, and I resell them on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, ThreadUp, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, you name it, and I'm selling there. So I'm excited to share with you another way of getting inventory, which is by purchasing items from ThreadUp. If you're familiar with ThreadUp, it's a online clothing merchandiser that sells both new and gently used clothing. A lot of times people will just shop there for one particular item um, or their whole wardrobe, but you can buy things that are called rescue boxes, which are things that thread up, uh, turn down. People would send them things and they decided this isn't really um, something we can use right now. It's not that it's an imperfect item, although it could be. Um, but sometimes they just have an oversaturation of certain items and they don't need them. But I've had really good luck with these rescue boxes. And if you watch some more of my videos, you're going to see that I've done um, mixed clothing hauls like the one today. I've done a uh, shoe box. I've done men's clothing boxes and I've done t-shirt box. So a little bit of everything. And so if you're looking for a different way of getting inventory for your online marketplace, this is a good avenue to check out. So let's take a look at what's in today's box. Okay, so as a reminder, I purchased this box for $60 and it is a rescue box of mixed clothing. I can't remember how many pieces are in here. I want to say it's 25, um, but I'll double check that and let you know. First item, this nice piece, it's Rana Gill, which I am not familiar with, but it is a really nice um, jumper. It has got this beautiful um, decoration to it. It's, it's almost like a uh, gold threading and it is see-through, so you'd have to wear something under it. But it, it's got these nice, almost um, wide leg blissoon pants. Look at that. Same detail on the bottom. Um, really a beautiful color. It's a size medium, but I'm not familiar with Rana Girls, so Rana Gill. So I will have to do my research on that. But that is a gorgeous piece. So probably not have any problems with that selling. Next item is Maeve, which is Anthropology brand. It is a gorgeous pocketed skirt. Um, while this brand used to sell for a lot, it's, it's not as popular as it was in the past. Um, but this skirt is gorgeous and I am really excited. It looks like to be a good size. It is a size six and i um, excited about that. Next item, oh my goodness, I know what this is. Alexander, oh, Alexander Wang. Wow, really nice piece. It's a mesh overlay top, so you could either wear a bra bustier underneath. It's very sheer, but it's in really perfect condition. I don't see any flaws and this is something that would not hide a flaw. Um, so yeah, we're doing so far so good y'all. This is good. Next up is French Connection. 
Um, it's just a little it's an itty bitty little uh, dress. It is a US size two. It's a mini dress, as you can see, with a little ruffled hem, a little ruffled sleeve. It's not valued it very much, but even if I make five or ten off that, it's it's all good. Banana Republic outlet. It's just a basic blue knit top. It's got some nice detailing to it. Um looks to be a, a larger size. Yeah, it's a large. It's nice. Um, yeah, it won't get a whole lot for being an outlet, but this is a nice top. Oh, great. Next one is Zara. It's a U.S. small, but it is a really cute top. It's got a deep v-neck, and it's got these beautiful bell sleeves and pleated in the front. It's a little bit a little bit cropped, not much, but a little bit cropped. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do great. Oh my goodness, I'm not even sure what this is. This is the Nell of New York. It is wool and acrylic. And I think, I think this is like a cape jacket. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, oh, it has sleeves. Okay, so I've got this heavy shirt on, so it's not going to go on. But it is a sleeved cape, and it's like a short sleeves to it. And it's really bizarre. I've no, I can't really explain how to wear it. Sleeves seem to be... The sleeves are here and here but look how wide it is so I'm gonna have to look this up plus the tag is in an odd place if it's actually worn in that manner um see because if it's worn this way see how the tag is sitting upside down so I may have this all wrong maybe maybe this is worn a different way but it, it's heavy and it's wool, but I have no idea. I'm going to definitely have to um, look into this. But this is the label in case maybe you're familiar and you think to give me some ideas. Um, it seems to be a really nice piece, but I have got to research that to see what it's supposed to look like. All right, moving on. The next has tags, so that's always good. And holy moly, yeah, this is, um, this is a dress. It's casual couture, but it says it was valued at $158 for this dress. And so it's just a basic black maxi, but it's got a really nice open, partial open back to it. So I'm not familiar with this band. Casual couture by Green Envelope. But man, that MSRP of $158, that's crazy. All right, next is Pietro Brunelli. It's Milano. It is a really cute scarf-like top. Um, it's got an asymmetrical, strange hemline to it. Um, but as you can see on the bottom, it comes to us a, a V at the bottom, like that. But it's got a really pretty floral print. It is, let's see if I can see a size on this. That's probably why it didn't stay at thread up, because if there's no size tag. I don't see a size tag, but I'm guessing it's a small or medium even though it's kind of oversized. Um, so I'll have to take measurements and do my research on that. Ooh, oh, this is really nice, y'all. Next item is Free People, and it is this beautiful kimono. It is absolutely gorgeous. See that? This is really nice and it's long and it's got these like um, anchor 
shirt, sleeve. Uh, let's see, I can't tell you any more about this. I didn't just notice the size. Let me look at the size of this. It is I'm not seeing any size on this. It may be a one size fits most, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's nearly floor length. It is so long, but this is, so far y'all, this has been an excellent box. Next up, Banana Republic. This one's an extra small, just a basic blue t-shirt striped. This is Toby. It is a blouse. It has got an open back and it is really a nice top. I'm not sure why this didn't make the cut either, but it's in great condition. It's got maybe a couple strings on it. Okay, loft, extra small, petite. It's a basic navy blue cardigan it's got it's a knit but then the back is a blouse like material it may be silk let me take a look at this closer and see if it says um, but petites i always have a hard time selling they just don't sell as well as regular things um it's just like a chiffon so it's like a nylon rail rayon blend on the back and it's a wool blend on the front. But again, it's, it's just a nice basic piece. And this one feels nice. This is Banana Republic, and this is Italian Super Loft Yarn. This felt like cashmere to me when I picked it up. I'll show you in just a second. I'm just checking to see if I can see exactly what the fabric content is. This one, I'll be, I won't be surprised if it's Got some cashmere in it. Yeah, it's 10% cashmere. It's lamb um, merino wool, and it is really nice. It is a peach, peachy pink color. It is a cardigan, basic um, five button cardigan with pockets. And this is going to be a good seller. I don't see any holes in it. With wool and cashmere, you always want to check it really closely because it can be hard to see. And I don't see any flaws in this, so wonderful. There is still so much in this box, y'all. I am so excited. All right, next is a skirt. This skirt is Forever 21 and it is a faux leather skirt with this nice uh, laser cutout detail. It is fully lined and um, it'll do fine. It may not bring up a lot of money because Forever 21 isn't a great brand, but um, it's cute enough that somebody's gonna buy it. Oh, and this is awesome. This. This one is great. This is an Ezra Fitch leather jacket. It is not faux leather. This is real leather. And this is like a moto style jacket. I'm going to zip it up because you always want to check when you get jackets to make sure the zippers work because if they don't, it's a bust and this one works. Look at how freaking cute that jacket is. Look at the bottom detailing the buttons. Buttons on the back. Buttons on there. So this is great. This is a size small. The lining is silk. So this is, I don't know much about Ezra Fitch, but I can tell you right now that this is a quality jacket and I cannot believe they didn't keep this on thread up. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one. We got some pants here. These are um, Coyoten which are like athleisure wear. Um, they do a lot of yoga wear. And these are just a pair of uh, 
pants. I'm not even sure what you would call these pants, but they've got the gathering on either side. They are size small. They've got great pockets. Um, perfect for people who are staying at home and just want to be comfortable. This is really pretty, although I don't know what it is. This is another, um, it's this brand, it's a G. I have no idea what this is. It's polyester, it may not be worth anything, but it's really nice. It's like a nice layering piece. So again, you have this, this cute, uh, really soft material. It's uh, got a, a um, asymmetrical hem to it, it's like a beige and black or cream and black pattern, um, and just very lightweight and kind of a silky feel to it. So nice. I'm not sure about it, but I'll have to look that brand up. <sighs> Let's see. Gosh, y'all, this is so many good pieces in here. Again, another free people. This is a beautiful knit jacket with, oh, it's so comfy too, y'all. I'm gonna have a hard time not keeping this one. It is really a nice piece. It's got like um, two deep pockets. It's oversized. Let me see if I can move back so you can kind of see this. Um, but it, it's just really, really, comfy and it's free people it's in excellent condition it's a size medium and it's just really nice perfect perfect Ooh. sweater oh my gosh y'all this looks like a handmade sweater it looks like I made this and it didn't do a very good job now this is Fashion Nova. I have no idea about this brand. It looks like it's a handmade sweater, but I'm sure it's not. And then it's got this, and I guess this was the intended look for this. It's really soft. Fashion Nova. Don't know. I'm going to try to see if I can look in here about the details. It's acrylic, and it's a size large. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this, and it just... No, it's got some roughness to it. So I don't know if it was made to look this way or if it's been like eaten up. <laughs> Surely it's made to look this way, right? Um, nevertheless, uh, yeah, I guess I'll try to sell that. Gosh, this is like the day of like the sleeveless vests <laughs> because here's another one. This one does not have a tag at all. I'm not sure why anybody would send this in without a tag. Oh, it does have a tag. I just didn't see it. This is Athleta. Um, it's not the only way I knew it was Athleta because it doesn't have, I don't see a marking in here, but on the inner tag, it clearly says Athleta. Um, but there's no size tag, and so that's probably the reason why. I'll try to but you see again it's that sleeveless look it ties up here it's a perfect piece if you're going to yoga and you just want to cover your shoulders um, when you're walking in it's got two pockets and it's just really it's really super soft so I really like this piece I wish it had a size tag to tell me some more information but I probably I probably can look it up to see but it is modal cotton and spandex from the summer of 18. But it, it's really just a nice, versatile piece. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all, I have just gotten some great pieces today. Oh, but this one's got a few things. Okay, so now I see why. All right, so this is a, jar, a Zara basic camo jacket really super cute it fully zips and it has snap buttons and it's got this beautiful detailing but this is the problem it's missing some of the jewels on this side 
So, hmm. The question is, can I find some replacement jewels for this? Is it worth it? Or do I sell it as it is and let the other person find um, find this these jewels to replace it? Um, it's really cute, but that's that's of course why um, why ThreadUp didn't keep it. And people should know better. You can't send things to ThreadUp that have that that kind of flaw. They're just not going to take it. Next up, Coco and Jameson. This is a beautiful boho slip dress. It is not lined, um, but you, of course, would need something underneath it because it is fully sheer. But it is, I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Really a gorgeous, a gorgeous dress. All right, getting to the end, looks like I've got two things left. Okay, this is made in Italy, but I know nothing else about it. Um, so bizarre. It's just a small little cropped hoodie, green hoodie jacket, and it ties in the front. And all it tells me is that it was made in Italy. I see no size and no brand. Okay, last item. Oh my goodness, look at this. It is a beaded knit sweater or cardigan. I have no idea. It has no tags whatsoever but it looks like a really quality piece so I'm going to have to do my research on this to see um, what this might be I understand why people take out the tags on things like this but it's really cute great for a formal occasion um, but that's everything in this box and y'all I am super thrilled I'm going to have no problem making money um, off this box. I do encourage you to try these thread up rescue boxes if you're looking for items to resell. Maybe you don't live in an area that has a lot of places to thrift. These boxes have time and time again been profitable for me and so I encourage you to join thread up if you haven't already to check out their their thread up rescue boxes. If you like the content you see today, I ask you to please hit the thumbs up button. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. So be the first to see the information that I show on my YouTube channel. If you're looking to start your online, online business and you want to learn more about how to get started, please go to prointhehome.com. It is a great resource of information how to get started with online selling, what kind of items to look for, and what I'm buying and what I'm selling it for. So thanks again for stopping by today, and I hope that you enjoyed my thread up haul and that you have learned something new you didn't know before. Thanks. See you next time.